uh, I think the obvious one is <clears throat> how do we manage uh, the relationship between the federal government and the provincial government and their various responsibilities for project approvals? And how do we manage um, the other areas where special interests have a right? Uh, for instance, the Aboriginal rights have just been dictated by the Supreme Court. Uh, I think the mining industry, more than any other industry, <clears throat> has worked with the Aboriginal people more in that regard uh, over the past 20 years and, and have a track record to show for it. Not, it hasn't always worked in every case, but we have a lot of cases, our own cases could be an example, um, where that relationship has been developed. Out here in BC, the AMBC, the exploration group, uh, have made a conscious effort over the last 10 or 15 years to manage their relationship with the Aboriginal people. And I think that has been very beneficial and there's a good, a good relationship developed. But beyond that, now there are, with the new um, guidance from the Supreme Court, that really has to be proactively managed in a very major way. And I think the governments, the both levels of governments, have to resolve how they in turn are going to manage their affairs. The Aboriginals are developing how they're going to manage theirs. The industry is trying to manage with them, usually as joint venture partners or in some sort of an interrelated corporate way. But we still require both levels of government to act a little bit more Forthrightly, I think, would be the answer. Uh, a little bit more adeptly. Uh, perhaps maybe a little more quickly. There's no reason why we can't act quickly. Because when you come to investing money, you're investing billions of dollars. And you have to invest maybe hundreds of million up front. You've got to have some better assurance than what we're sort of getting normally in order to make that preliminary investment. There is good room for improvement, I think, between federal and provincial jurisdictions there. I think the relationship with the Aboriginal groups is developing, and I think it's developing in a healthy way, <clears throat> and I support it wholeheartedly. Um, I would like to see the governments come on a little more proactively, I think.